Hey everybody, great to be with you on this Thursday morning. Craig here. He's been busy all week. You've been warning us about this system essentially since he came in on Monday. You know, we saw early indications even late last week. You know, there were some of the hints from some of the longer range models that there could be something. Typically this time of year, you know, you see something like that, it gets your attention, but you don't worry a lot because so much changes. And, and a lot has changed in the models, but you are growing more confident because some of the models are all coming together. They are, they are. Over our shoulder here, you see this for Friday night into Saturday morning. We want you to get ready. Now there's chances for snow today, and we'll talk about that as well, but it's a very high likelihood we're gonna get significant snow Friday night. So we'll take a quick look here. Dan, what we're talking about, you know, showers today. We've got the Arctic front coming through. We need that cold weather in place. We're gonna get it behind that front today, rain showers but we could see some mess up on the peninsula. Okay, so mostly today we're looking at rain, peninsula could see the mess, but then it's the south side that seems gonna get the, the brunt of some of the snow. So later tonight, we're gonna see the transition and overnight tonight, it'll kind of come through, not a real big deal south side, but Friday night into Saturday. Yeah, right. That's when you're right, that's when we're looking at uh, more significant amounts of snow and you're smiling because we don't typically see, not always the heavier snow south sides. A lot of times it right. might be up around Richmond or we'll talk about Williamsburg getting so in this case, a little different situation. Now, I do want to let everybody know, winter weather advisory in place tonight for what comes through tonight. For south side Hampton Roads in North Carolina, maybe a half an inch to an inch and a half. Peninsula may see a little bit more today, okay. like a couple of inches in some areas, uh, middle peninsula. But it's what's coming Friday. Yeah. Look at that. You see the winter storm watch. Okay, commute Friday morning. What, what's that going to be like for people? So we'll get what we get tonight. Okay, great question, Dan. Yeah. Um, we get what we get tonight. I think there will be some minor slush accumulations. I'm worried about bridges and overpasses, those types of places. Because, well, a couple things. One, the roads that are being treated with the brine, yep. there's going to be rain that comes through before the snow arrives. So that can kind of wash away some of the pre-treatment right. makes it a little less effective. So we may have some slick spots tomorrow, but I do think most of the precip's gonna be down to the south. And then as we go late Friday into Saturday morning, that's when we're gonna see more of the snow filling back in. So we'll have to wait and see what we wake up to tomorrow on the ground, but it doesn't look like the weather Friday morning will be terrible because we may get in that little lull before the next wave. All right, so we're seeing a lull. Now yeah. let's move into Friday afternoon. Are we talking dinner time? There's gonna be a solid coating on the ground? So Friday night, uh, maybe, it'll be close. I really think it gets going the later we go Friday evening, the more intense the snowfall picks up. I think we've got, there's a look at the Arctic boundary. Let me just real quickly jump ahead here to our future cast and show you kind of the timing on this day. And I think it'll answer your question perfectly. You see the rain coming down this afternoon. And then by four o'clock right there, you see that area of pink across the peninsula, Eastern shore. That's where it's mixing, maybe some snow around Williamsburg. You see how it spreads southwards. We get some snow overnight. And then tomorrow morning, there you go. You see how it's down to the south. Mm -hmm. Watch how it comes back northward though, later. That's by five o'clock. And there through the evening, it spreads farther north. So will we have snow on the ground? Um, Friday, like dinner time, maybe, maybe not in some places, but I would say before midnight, pretty good chances. And that snow continues into Saturday morning before tapering off. I mean, it's been what five years since we've seen significant snowfall here. Four, yeah. well, four yeah. Years, so we looked at the, the last two, we had a five inch snowfall at the airport. Um, that was five years ago. Four years ago, we had two like four or five inch snowfalls within the 24 hour period. So we had a larger snowfall at my seat just dropped a little bit um, in 20, what was it, 18? 18. So okay. that's what we had. Now, here's the latest European model just to show you kind of how the models are coming together uh, 6.9 inches for Norfolk. This model before Dan was crazy big. I think I showed you earlier, we saw like 13 or something. 20. Yeah. You know, I was like, I'm not even showing this right now. Yeah. Because it's just, you know, sometimes these models get a hold of something and go crazy with it. So now the Euro is trending down. You take a look at the GFS. This is the American model that we were looking at. I came in early this morning. We were looking, I said, eh, two to three inches. Mm -hmm. It had backed off. Jeff Loss was saying, you know, we might need to scale it back a little bit based on how the models were trending last night. Well, you see this morning with our new model run that just came in during daybreak. Yeah. We're back up to four and a half, five inches here, uh, Norfolk to Virginia Beach, a little bit more up around Newport News. So this one started to come back up and I'll just show you the NAM. This was another one that was really low last night and now this one's hanging in, same range, about four and a half to five. So confidence is 
So would you say you are more confident now than this time yesterday that we will see more snow than perhaps you were previously thinking? Yeah, no, I, yesterday we were talking four to eight inch range. Last night we got a little spooked that the models were coming down yeah. a little bit. So I think Jeff lowered it two to six. I said three to eight, four to eight. I think we're kind of still living in that range. As you can see, we'll see though, because what do I always say? Things can always change. Yeah. And, and thankfully it's happening on a Saturday morning too. Hopefully people can stay home, enjoy the snow from there. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, with any of this winter weather you don't have to be out in it i mean folks do you want to go out and play and that's awesome i mean i'm a i'm a big kid i know you're a big kid you <laughs> like to get out and still play in the snow get the dogs out let yeah. them play around and romp around in the snow that's all great but if you don't have to travel and we're waking up to a lot of snow on saturday stay in pour an extra cup of coffee enjoy <laughs> some daybreak you may see us on the air saturday morning we'll see depending on how big this thing gets but right. it is something that we'll be watching for and we'll keep everybody updated on you, Jeff, Evan, Melissa, all done a great job tracking it. So well, thank, thank you. you, Craig. Thanks, everybody.